All right, so here's something a lot of people don't do. I think it's because it looks noisy on the screen, but it's something that I find I use quite a bit. Um, PowerPoint comes with grids and guidelines, and so what you can do, I'm in PowerPoint uh, 2007, so it's going to be a little different than PowerPoint uh, 2003. So when you're in PowerPoint 2007, your grid and guide tool is going to be a little different. In um, 2007, if you go under the arrange options and align, and then there's a grid setting, which you can't even see because it's off the screen. Um, or you can right click on the slide and you see your grids and guidelines. And that's going to open up uh, this window here. And what you can do is you can notice you can you have snapping options so you can snap objects together or to other objects. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on those so you can see how that works. Then you've got your grid and you can see when I click on it you'll see a grid appear and then you can change the spacing for your grid and then you've got guides. So I'm going to click them all hit OK. So now what we have here is we've got our um, grid here and then so if you have a shape this is where a grid comes in handy so you have a shape and then you can you know line your objects up based on what you see for the grid and you can make let me zoom in a little so you can make your grid um, finer or wider than you uh, see here on the screen now we also have the snap option so if you notice as I'm clicking and dragging it's it's not moving smoothly it's actually just snapping into certain places on the grid. So that's kind of nice because it makes it a lot easier to align objects. You notice it's always just lining up with the grid shape. I also have, let me duplicate this object, I also have the snap to object uh, of option chosen. So what's nice is I can snap uh, to my object. So if you notice when I move it, it's just going to snap to the object. So it's a lot easier um, to work with those shapes so I don't have to spend as much time let me duplicate this so I don't have to spend as much time trying to get it lined up perfectly because it's just going to snap into shape so the snapping tool is really nice if you want to align things quickly so you've got your grid option you've got your snapping option I'm going to turn the grid off so I'm going to right click on the screen hit the grids and guidelines the display uh, turn the display grid off so now all we can see it are the guidelines and I use the guidelines quite a bit so the guidelines allow you to line objects up on the screen so in this case say we have this is our top border I can move that here and so I want to move uh, say I have my top border area and I actually want all of my top border area to be where this blue is at so I can make another guideline it's just a matter of clicking on the guideline hitting control and then I can duplicate my guideline and um, I'll make another one here. I'll show you how this works. I'm going to duplicate this and then we'll uh, duplicate this here and then we'll um, create another one so you can see how this is going to work here in a second. So now I've got a bunch of guidelines. What's nice is as I go to slides all the stuff lines up regardless of uh, the slide I'm at. So I always know okay this top area is going to be my uh, bar. So what I can do now is I can uh, we'll just move this and we'll say this is always going to be in here and then I can zoom in to make it a little easier to work with and as you can see um, I've got uh, this ability to keep everything lined up within um, whatever it is I'm working on so using the guides then I know everything's going to be lined up on the slides um, let me show you here if we're we're working in here this is another thing that I'll use if I want to size images so say I bring in some pictures and uh, these represent different pictures and I want them all the same size I'll just create a, uh, a guide here where I've got top and side and bottom and then I can just drag it and then it'll automatically be sized to whatever I have so if I click on the guidelines and do this I can actually then create uh, shapes that are all going to be the same size so I can do that now I've got that shape and I can let's say I'm going to bring in a circle and I can bring in my circle and I can 
uh, size it up and it's just going to snap to the edges. Now my circle, everything's going to be uh, the same size. So using the guides is an easy way to line objects up across slides. You know that they're always going to be lined up. A lot of people don't use the guides, but I find that I, I probably use the guides on every single project that I ever do. Uh, it's good to get used to using those. It's easy to find them. Just right click on the screen and then you've got your, uh, let me do that, right click on the screen, you've got your grids and guides option.